Among his neighbours at Millgrove, Jason Smith was in demand as Eglinton got ready to welcome its hero. As the Beijing flag and the stand, next Monday will be the real one. So I'll free them for my sideboard. <laughs> Normally, only homes of gold medal winners on Team GB receive gold post boxes. But after pressure from Eglinton's residents, Royal Mail did the needful for the Northern Ireland athletes who won gold medals when representing Ireland. So to be fair to Royal Mail, it's a nice gesture and I'm thankful for them. But it's, it's a nice memory for myself and for the people in Eglinton just you know, to know what's been achieved from somebody here. So yeah, I think it's great. The village was thronged. And Jason wasn't the only attraction. I'm sharing him with a lot of adoring fans, which is fantastic. And I think this is just great. The kids obviously love him and the whole village is out to support him. So it's fantastic. So how did you meet him? His uncle lives in Utah, where I'm from. And he came out a few years ago and they introduced us. And I guess the rest is history. So tell me about December. Tell me about the plan. What's December 29th, we're getting married in Salt Lake City, where I'm from. And it'll be a small, intimate wedding, just none of this, <laughs> but it should be beautiful. Jason's coming out in October to help with the last minute plans and at the end of the day I'll be married to him and that's all that matters, right? In a final twist to an eventful day, the fastest Paralympian on the planet came last in the Eglinton Open 50 metre race in which 12 local school children were the stars. I'm Lewis Baldrick. And tell me, what have you just done? I've beat Jason Smith, um, two-time gold medalist. Not bad work for a Saturday? No, <laughs> not bad at all. Tommy Gorman, RTE News, Eglinton, County Derry.